Good evening. Tonight I want to have an unpleasant talk with you about a problem that's unprecedented in our history. In 1977, yeah. President Jimmy Carter went on national TV and declared the biggest crisis that we were going to face in our lifetime was going to be running out of oil. He couldn't have been more wrong. Yes, we've been burning more of it every year since 1977. But we have more oil now than we did in 1977, and we may never run out. How is that possible? In 1977, people knew only of the then current oil reserves, and knowing the, our oil consumption rate, with some quick math, you could easily figure out that we would run out of oil completely in about 40 years. Well, 40 years from 1977 is 2017, about now. So that seems pretty laughable now. What they didn't know then is how vast our oil reserves actually are. It turns out that the Earth has a much larger amount of oil than we ever imagined. So much so that we will likely never run out up to the day we perfect an inexhaustible form of cheap energy, such as solar or nuclear fusion. But that's for another video. As you might have guessed, this is all due to technology advance. Our technology has enabled us not only to find vast new previously unknown oil reserves in places like Venezuela and Kazakhstan, for example, but we also have perfected ways to extract oil from oil shale using a process called fracking. Simply put, this is a way to extract oil from shale rock using high pressure water. It turns out that the United States alone has trillions, not billions, but trillions with a T, of barrels of oil in the form of shale rock. That's almost 10 times more than Saudi Arabia and there are trillions more gallons of oil in Canada in the form of tar sands, which with today's technology is also extractable. In addition, more oil is being found in previously used oil sites by technologies like drilling sideways, drilling deeper, and using high pressure water to squeeze more oil from a drilling site that was thought to be dry. We consume about 35 billion barrels of oil per year. So with the trillions we have available, this will probably last for 100 years or so. By that time, it is thought or hoped that we will have developed even more efficient and inexhaustible energy technologies like solar or nuclear fusion. Now, is this good for us? Is this good for society? The answer here is yes and no. It is good because oil is a pretty cheap form of energy. This means our cars are cheap to operate, our airfares are cheap, we enjoy cheap products that are made from oil, like all the plastic products we use, like your potato chip bags, ketchup bottles, water bottles, even clothing materials like polyester and nylon come from oil. So we can enjoy the benefits of modern life cheaply. The bad part is that burning oil produces carbon dioxide, lots and lots of carbon dioxide. This is a greenhouse gas which causes devastating climate change, which is getting worse over time. In addition, oil produces a bunch of other toxic gases, which are bad for the environment and bad for our health. And when oil is abundant and cheap, there is very little financial incentive to develop environmentally friendly technologies like solar, wind, geothermal, or nuclear fusion. So as a society, we either pay now or pay later. Just be sure to choose your poison carefully. Hey, if you want to learn more interesting, fascinating, sometimes shocking stuff like that in five minutes or less, subscribe now. Or don't, if you don't give a bleep, but be sure to leave that comment down in the comment section.